Hi, I'm Christy with Adventure Trinity Family and I'm back with another how-to sponsored by Holiday Rambler. Today, we are gonna learn how to hook up our utilities on our vacationer. Now, this is typically something that Spencer does, so Spencer's gonna teach me, along with you today, on how to hook up our sewer, our electric, and our water. Hey guys, I'm Spencer. As Christy said, hooking up the utilities on the RV is typically my job, but today we're gonna to show her how to do it. I've already leveled the RV, and before we bring the slides out, the first thing that we're gonna do is hook up the electric. Once you've located the power pedestal at your campsite, the first thing to do is plug in a surge protector. Holiday Ramblers come with a surge protector built in, but we found that this is just a good extra layer of protection. All right, so this is the electrical box. You flip up the front to access the panel and inside you'll see the 50 amp, the 30 amp, and the 20 amp receptacles. We are obviously set up for 50 amp, so what you wanna do is make sure that the 50 amp switch is off. So in the down position in this case. Once you know that it's off, you can go ahead and plug our surge protector into the 50 amp receptacle. Once you have the surge protector plugged in, then go ahead and flip that 50 amp breaker. The surge protector will have a countdown and you'll hear an audible click once it's ready to go. All right, so back at the rear cabinet, you need to remove that and then fish the end of the power cord down through that hole. The next thing you're going to want to do is just flip up that lid on the surge protector at the bottom. Nice job with the power. Thank you. All right, so the next step is to hook up the water to the city water inlet on the RV. Okay. All right, so once you've opened the door to the water utility area, you want to find the hose inlet for the city water. A lot going on here. And then screw it into this yep. inlet. So a very important piece here is the water pressure regulator. Some campgrounds have really high water pressure, some have really low water pressure, but this is going to regulate it and make it even so that you don't have too high of a pressure coming into the RV. So this is a very important piece to have in line. Now that we are at the water pedestal, you can go ahead and screw the hose onto the outlet there. Okay, now that that's good and tight, you can flip up the water handle all the way. And I also have a couple additional Y connectors because that allows us to hook up additional hoses for either the black tank rinse or if we need to just spray something off without having to disconnect us from the city water. All right, two out of three. Yeah. Doing, doing good so far. We've got one last utility to tackle. Yep, now that the power and the water are all hooked up, it's the fun one. <laughs> the one that everybody loves to joke about. Yeah, all right. So it's obviously not as bad as, you know, most people say, but I am going to suit up and I'm going to put some gloves well, on. Well, <laughs> yes, even though it's, it's not as bad as you think, you do need to take proper measures to keep yourself clean. All right, so right next to the fresh water is where I keep the wastewater stuff. And you always wanna make sure you keep your drinking water stuff separate from your wastewater stuff. That's step number one. Put on the gloves. This is our sewer hose support riser. So it just keeps it off the ground and keeps it at an angle so that the water runs downhill to the sewer drain. So you wanna pull that out. And don't <laughs> drop it. And then this is the part of the water utility area that we're going to connect the sewer hose to. So you want to set the hose support up with the flat end on the ground, the high end of the support towards the coach, and then snake the low end towards the sewer drain so that you have a good even support level. We installed a keeper tube for our sewer hose here in the back compartment. So just pull it up. Oh, it's the back. Yeah. Pull out that orange adapter and bring that over to the sewer drain. All right, so pull that top off, spin that cap off, and then place that inside there and spin it a couple times to lock it in. 
Keep that elbow pointed towards the sky. Okay, and now the elbow, the clear elbow end, locks into the plastic end that you just put into the ground. So you can see the four, there's four tabs on there that'll fit into those, and then it'll lock in. I'll just give it a twist. Okay, I'll bring the other end towards the coach. Remove that cap. go and then the last thing is to remove the cap on the end of the hose and the cap on the inlet or the outlet I should say is the, what am I removing the black cap this. so yeah so hold the elbow with your left hand and yeah twist it left there you go okay so you want those those nubs to twist into those grooves. Yep. There you go. Once it's locked tight, and it's all hooked up. And then the only thing you're going to want to do is squish it together so that it lays evenly across the support. Nice work. All right, not bad for our first time hooking up all of the utilities. Yeah, so do you think you could do it again by yourself? Um, I think so, but just like you, I would be probably Googling and watching the YouTube video. Right. And just as a reminder to make sure I wasn't messing up anything along the way. And I think it comes, what, like second nature once you've done it a handful of yeah, times? Yeah, it really is a pretty easy process. And once you've done it a few times, you'll kind of get your order of events down in your head and it'll be really simple to do it. And then, of course, when you're leaving and you're packing up and ready to go, you just basically reverse the process after you've dumped your tanks, stow everything accordingly, and off you go to your next destination. Thanks guys for checking out this video. Make sure you watch the other ones on the Holiday Rambler YouTube channel, and we will see you in the next one.